The mining industry has recently transformed from a resilient, learn from experience production system to a technology driven business where process optimization and cost reduction opportunities are extensively researched with computer aided software. One of these areas is tunnel blasting, which is definitely one of the more hazardous aspects of mining. Flownex simulation environment is a thermal hydraulic software package developed from engineering expertise and superior technology focus. It offers the ideal capabilities to do first order analysis of these underground blasting scenarios. Now we know that explosive related fatalities in underground mines are most commonly caused by miners being allowed too close to the blast and this followed by explosive fumes poisoning. These fatalities or injuries not only affects the resources and families involved. But as you know, this causes extended delays in mining activities, which leads to huge loss of production income. It is therefore imperative that we have a tool from which fast and accurate calculations can be performed to determine safe distances from the blast, as well as sufficient clearing time to allow ventilation of poisonous gases. This ensures that safety is respected, as it should be, engineering time is minimized, and operation time is optimally utilized. And again, Flonex provides the ideal capabilities to do these kinds of analysis. Now to set up a mine tunneling flow network is easy with Flonex's user-friendly drag and drop convention and input specification. These networks can be built or imported in a two-dimensional environment by specifying lengths and connection point elevations. Or we can import the mine tunneling grid in a three-dimensional coordinate-based environment. As an example of this, I will now show you how we would model the pressure wave propagation and poisonous gas distribution of a simple arbitrary mine blasting scenario. The mine's tunnels are set up to represent the correct lengths and flow areas to give an accurate response to the system behavior. The extractive fan here on the right circulates the air through the tunneling system which boundaries are fixed by atmospheric conditions. At the blasting site, the local air circulation is enforced by the draft fan, which blows clean air down the one side of the tunnel and in turn pushes out the toxic and photoresidual gas from the blasting site. The blast itself is simulated with an instantaneous release of anphoresidual gas with a mass roughly equal to the weight of the explosives and a gas temperature of 500 degrees centigrade. Now, just before we go on to simulate the dynamic effect of the explosion, I just want to take you through a few results that are calculated by Flonex. So I'm just going to do a steady state simulation before the blast occurs. Okay. Now, on the extractor fan, we can see the volume flow and pressure rise resulting from the fan curve position, as well as a bunch of other flow-related values like fan efficiencies, fluid temperatures, densities, and many more. The nodes also show these fluid properties, but elaborate more on the fluid composition. Now, in this case, it's the mass relation of air and ammonia in the ANFO gas. Now, when we do a live simulation just now, we will use these results to investigate the pressure wave propagation and gas distribution throughout the tunneling system but we will just display them in a much more visible way, but we'll get to that. We can also find uh, the airflow velocity in the tunnels with the accompanying pressure losses, Reynolds numbers, and basically any value that would be of interest in a fluid mechanics and heat transfer field. So let's just get this explosion going. Now you're in the left hand graph, we can follow the movement of the pressure wave through the blasting tunnel, with each circle indicating the static pressure of each increment. In this way, we can determine the maximum pressure at a certain distance, as well as the time it takes to reach that position. The time of the simulation is indicated here at the bottom right of the Flonix page. Now this can be done for all tunnel sections throughout the network in order to see the pressure wave propagation. On the right hand side, um, the graph shows the pressure at the 30 meter blasting tunnels entering position over time. I've also set up a graph showing the ANFO gas concentration at the tunnels entering position. 
And we can set this up for several positions throughout the mine to determine the time it would take to reach safe breathing conditions from a homogeneous approach. Another powerful feature of Flonix is the illustration of attributes using color masks over the Flonix components, as I've done here for the ANFO gas concentration on the nodes. Now here I've set the upper color limit to a concentration of 50 ppm according to health and safety regulation specifications. And with this we can visually follow the degrading of ammonia concentration throughout the mining grid. Now, if I just reset the simulation and blow some rocks again, there we go. We can follow the pressure wave distribution throughout the grids according to the color map limits shown at the bottom of the screen in the result layers pane. And we can use this approach to scrutinize any fluid property during a steady state scenario or over time. And this was just a small network, but we've used Flonex successfully in modeling the entire cooling air supply to one of the deepest gold mines in the world. Many more investigations can be done for mining solutions using Flonex's powerful capabilities. So please feel welcome to contact one of the Flonex engineers from the website details or one of our Flonex retailers closest to you for more exciting information. May your roads be blessed and I hope that we will hear from you soon.